Hey guys, welcome to the 156th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our Hangman project. Uh, we're basically going to be drawing the head and uh, hopefully a few other parts on the head, like the eyes and the mouth. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is create an enumeration to hold all of the different uh, types of body parts that we're going to be drawing. So we're going to type uh, the keyword enum right here and then name our enumeration. I'm just going to call it body parts. And inside of here I'm just going to type out all of the different body parts for our hangman. So the first is obviously going to be the head, then we're going to have the left eye, and remember we can't have spaces in our elements so we're going to have to basically just use an underscore instead. So left eye, right eye, then mouth, right, oops, right arm, left arm, then one for their body, so let's see what we do here, right, body, right leg, left leg. Alright, so these are all the body parts that we're going to be uh, drawing within the next couple tutorials here. Um, in this tutorial though, we're going to concentrate on the head, the left eye, the right eye, and the mouth. Alright, so we're just going to basically create a method that will actually be used to draw all these different body parts. So I'm just going to have it be a return type of void, since we're not going to be returning anything, we're going to be drawing. And I'm just going to say draw body part. And you're just going to have to pass through the body part that you want drawn. So we can just use our body parts enumeration for this. So body parts, and I'm just going to call it BP for body part. Alright, so uh, something that's going to be used for each body part is going to be graphics. So we have something to draw with and a brush. Actually a pen, sorry. And so we're just going to type graphics G and set it equal to panel1.createGraphics. And again, panel 1 is just this panel inside of this group box here for our hangman. And then we're just going to want to create a new pen to draw with, so I'm going to call it P, and set it equal to a new pen. And I'm just going to make the color that we're going to be drawing with blue, but you can make it anything you want. Alright, so now we're going to check to see what body part the user wants drawn, or the color of this method wants drawn. So we're going to check first to see if it's a head. So if bp equals body parts dot head then we're going to draw a circle and I already have all the code for this typed out so you don't have to watch me figure out at what points to draw them but I'm going to explain it so alright for the head we're just going to draw an ellipse we're not going to fill an ellipse so it'll just be like a wire frame I guess and um, alright it's going to start at 40 on the x-axis and since the end point of like the end of the hang post is um, 60 on the x-axis and the width of this is going to be 40 so we're just going to make it be centered so you take 20 away or you divide this by 2 so you take 20 away from 60 and then you get 40 so we have 40 and then we want it to be right up against the top of that post on the y so we're just going to make that 50 same as where it ends and then we're just going to make it be a perfect circle, so 40 by 40. Alright, and we're not going to actually be calling the method from inside of this drawing hang post method, but we're just going to call it there so we can um, preview to make sure that this uh, draw uh, head actually works. So we're going to say draw body part, and then we're going to be drawing the head. Alright, and we're actually going to be calling this, uh, this will be the first thing drawn when the user uh, gets a letter wrong, or they guess a wrong letter. Alright, so we're going to go here, and yep, that looks pretty good, but let's actually make the pen um, two pixels thick instead of just one, and this should make it look better. Yep, just thicker, and it meets the post a bit better. Alright, and now we're going to check to see if the caller wants to draw on the left eye, so we're going to say else if um, BP equals the body part equals the uh, left eye. So we're going to say if it equals the left eye then we're going to actually draw an ellipse or fill an ellipse. So we're going to have to create a new brush and I already have this all typed out just like the other one. 
so you don't have to watch me type it. But basically I just create a new brush here, make the color be black, set the position to 50 on the x-axis and 60 on the y-axis. So that makes it around, I don't know, towards the left of their head. And it will be on the left of our side, not the left of the person's side. And I think that just makes it a little bit less confusing. And then I make the radius of the circle 5 by 5. And this will actually turn out to be a square, but it's close enough. All right, so now let's call this and have it draw a eye instead. Or we'll actually have it draw a head and eye so we can see where it's positioned in the head to make sure that it looks good. And yep, that's pretty good. And I know you're not going to be able to use the exact same coordinates that I'm using. Um, I'm trying to explain it though so it just gives you an idea of what to do or what to look for and how to figure out what points or what coordinates on your panel that you're going to be drawing at. And with this there's really no trick to it. You're just going to have to fool around with it until you get it. And then we're going to draw the right eye, so we're going to say else if um, uh, the body part equals uh, left eye, I mean right eye. So if it's a right eye, then we're just going to draw a right eye, and just like the left eye, we're going to have to create a new brush, and I already have the right eye code all typed out. All right, and the position of this is 63 on the x-axis and 60 on the y-axis. And since these are both the same on the y-axis, they'll be um, parallel on the y. And 63, uh, it's kind of like a weird number, but if I made it 60, they're too close together. And if I made it 65, they're too far apart. So 63 seems just perfect. And again, they're both the same uh, size, so that one eye is not bigger than the other. All right, and then let's just call this to make sure that it looks good. So we're going to say to draw a body part, and we're going to be drawing the right eye this time. All right, and yep, those look pretty good. And finally, we have to draw the mouth. And the mouth is sort of hard to um, really understand how this all works. But basically, we're just going to be drawing an arc so that it's a mouth. And this is actually going to be BP, not body part. So I'm just change this to BP. All right, so if the body part is a mouth, then we're just going to draw an arc. And the position of the arc is 50 and then 60. And you have to make it this because it thinks of it as if this was going to be a whole circle. So we have to make it 50, 60, which is the same position as this left eye, but it, trust me, it'll look right. And like I said, it just makes the position as if you were drawing a full circle. And then I make the size of this 20 by 20, so that it's not squished or anything. And then I make it start at 45 degree angle, so it'll start like right here. And then I make it draw 90, so it'll go like that. It'll sweep right across. So if I made it zero, it'd start like up here, and then it'd be like a sideways smile if I made it only draw 90. Or if I made it nine or zero and made it draw 180, then it would just look funny and be too up. All right, so now we debug here. We get oh, we never called the method. So we've got to call the method to see if our uh, mouth actually works. See if it's drawn correctly. And yep, pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on drawing the head and the face. So see you guys.